that suicide happens. And we know that many people actually have those thoughts. It was 2.59 p.m. I was in the news booth, getting ready to go on the air at three, like I always do. And then it happened. Saw a bunch of familiar faces there. They're promoting their new documentary on mental health. I'm so pleased. Uh, it's called The Human Race Around the Bay, and it's premiering right here on Cable 14 on May 14th at 7 p.m. And here in the studio with us, the creators of that amazing movie, Ted Michaels and Mo Masudi. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thanks Ted, for having us. I I saw you in there with your running gear, yeah. running around, doing the hard work. Yeah. You looked very distressed at one point. What was all the face rubbing? What was all that about? Uh, that was uh, kind of a throwback to, long story short, uh, when I first realized that I had a problem with anxiety. And that was the actual studio at the station at CHML, and it was literally one minute before air, and I just started to feel really the walls were closing in and I got a little dizzy and it was the left shoulder, right shoulder. I can't go on the air. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. You've got 30 seconds, fight or flight. So that was the first time that I noticed that there was something amiss, if you will. From that, there were several other episodes that got worse and worse and worse. And finally, I went through what I call my weekend from hell, realized I needed help, saw the doctor and we got the proper medication. Yes, you have anxiety, a little bit of depression. This should help, and it did. So that's, that, that's the background on that. When was this? This was about several years ago. This was pre-COVID, so probably 2014, 2015, and we just like several episodes through every so often. It's like, that's odd, that's odd, that's odd. When did you get the idea to turn your success story yes into this documentary well i was doing other stuff uh, doing fundraising concerts and this year i thought okay something different um i've been a runner for over 40 years looking at that video of myself i've slowed down a lot but that's another story <laughs> <laughs> so my better days are way behind me um so i thought i wanted to combine running with mental health and how the endorphins because it's a real thing the runners high so i wanted to talk to people that have gone through their own mental health challenges and i kind of got the idea let's combine the two i contacted mo who i've known for years and said what do you think he was looking for an opportunity to, to do something as well so i kind of put it on the plate he and i got the creative uses going and that's the end result and mo the 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 driving force behind this uh, documentary is to show um, how you can you can tackle your mental health issues and come out the other side, right? What was what about that appealed to you? Well, I've been always thinking about creating something, as Ted mentioned, that sort of highlight the struggles everyone feels when it comes to mental health. And being a former boxer and athlete, I've been running and doing all that stuff for many years for my mental health. And uh, when he suggests, I'm like, this is like perfect marriage. We need to do this. And uh, it was pretty exciting because then he mentioned that he, he knows a few people that are willing to come on camera, tell their stories, their challenges. And we're like, yeah, game on. Let's do this together. And even Mar we saw Marisa there, who yes. we know and That's love right. uh, here at the Cable 14 family. Did she have a story to share? She... Um we did a whole segment on, surprisingly, cooking and mental health. And then I found out that she had she had seen my social media posts about registering for the Bay Race, so she thought, I'm going to do it. Her niece called her that same night, registered, and then called her back and said, what have I done? So we did a segment with them training the first time that her niece did the Around the Bay. So we did a segment with her and her, her, her uh, niece, Elisa, who at one point in the race blew by me, kind of waved at me. I thought, okay, she's good. She's got it. So that's kind of the tie in there as well. Food, mental health. Marisa has done a lot of stuff with Suicide Prevention Council as well. So again, six degrees of separation, Val. It's like everybody knows somebody or everybody knows somebody through somebody else. And that's kind of how 
she came into being in this documentary. It's tr you're absolutely right what you say about running. I've always uh, told people, don't do it for the weight loss. It doesn't, it's not going to help you lose weight. Do it for what it does up here. And um, so what, what do you want people to take away from the viewing of this? My message is twofold. First of all, um, everybody has mental health. And I would suggest everybody's going through something. I could be looking at you right now, Val, and everything's fine. And inside, you could be dealing with an issue that nobody knows about. I'm falling apart, Ted. Well, see, because nobody knows because you don't share it. I'm not telling people to share it with everybody. Everybody's got something. You have to know how to deal with it. Exercise helps. Make that first step and talk to somebody. So we finalized the documentary with the stories of people who ran the Around the Bay, because everybody has a reason why they do it. Again, as you say, not physical, could be mental, running for somebody in a hospital that can't. So that's the takeaway, is we're all dealing with something, and it seems COVID really made it worse. So just make sure that everybody understands. Mm -hmm. Get the help you need. We're all in this together. Everybody's got something. So just, you know, be nice to each other and maybe reach out if you have a chance. What was the most challenging part of uh, shooting? I would say probably the day of the race, the around the bay, because you have to be in so many places at once, from flying the drone to be in the front line to the back of the race, behind the scene. I would say that's probably the most challenging part. And then but when it, you're editing it, you want to do it chronologically, right? right. So finding all those bits and pieces right. and putting and them in the right order. Unfortunately, I had a few fellows that helped me out with that, diff getting different angles and stuff. But it's coming out together really nice. And, okay. and, and sorry, and, and Mo strapped me on with what I call the TED cam. So I had, had the camera around my chest as I was <laughs> running. Marisa, God love her, at one point when I finished the race, it, because it got a little tight, I'm going, this is... <laughs> Probably what it's like to wear a bra. And she said, "Well, how would you know?" <laughs> uh, okay, I don't. Uh, point taken. So I took out that thing. Here you go. But uh, that's should be that. And the drone shots are going to be spectacular oh, in this documentary. May eighth. Uh, we're going to be showing it on May 14th, yes. as we said. May 8th is uh, where people can sit in the seats and watch it on the big screen. Uh, quickly, what are the details? Uh, May 8th at the Art Gallery of Burlington. Uh, starts at 6.30. Uh, the doors open at 6.30. Um, 7 o'clock documentary. 8 o'clock, uh, some of the people in the documentary will be on a Q&A just to talk about mental health because it's all part of Mental Health Week with CMHA Halton. So if you go to all the websites, you will see the link to register. It's free. Parking is free. Um, admission is free. Marisa, I'm putting pressure on her now, she has volunteered to make biscotti oh, for us that night. God love her. So I said, you don't have to do this. She goes, no, I really want. Okay. So we're going to have biscotti as well. And it's just kind of an informal, uh, we want to say hi to everybody, thank our sponsors and... Um, the Human it. Race Around the Bay. Ted Michaels, great job. Uh, Moma Sudi, thank you so much for being here. I'm s excited to see it and hear the response from it. Thank you All very right. much. Thank you. Uh, after the break, Kathy Hahn, Executive Director at Food for Kids, will be here to talk about some terrific events coming up at the end of May. We will be right back.